Hi everyone, Jeremy here. Thanks for watching today. So in this video, I'm going to adapt the 3D display card and stand that I set from Made to Surprise um, to make a 3D guitar. It's my dad's 60th birthday. He loves his music. He loves playing playing the guitar. Um, so I thought I'd try and adapt this die set to suit that style of card. I'm also going to be using the 3D display card a large modern number die set as well. So I'll just talk you through what I've used. So this die here with the teeth, which allows the um, cardstock to be flexible and curve around an edge. So I've cut several of those. Two of this largest oval, half oval die there for the stand, the base, and and that's it from this die set so i'll bring in the partially assembled guitar hopefully i can fit that in move that out of the way so i use my cricket to cut this shape um but this can be cut by hand quite simply so um if you've got oval shapes or oval dies, you could attach two ovals together to create this shape here. You've got your circles, a rectangle. This is a straight edge, so it's slightly tapered. So you just um, cut at an angle for that piece there. This has got a slight curve to it, but again, you could use a rectangle for that and rectangles for these pieces there. So anything used could be cut by hand and um, you just sort of need the patience to to cut it out but uh, sometimes I don't have that patience so hence why I've used the dies and my Cricut machine. So I'm going to set this to one side and start assembling. So I'm going to start with the main piece so this is my back piece and I've cut several of these. I've also got some on the side there just in case I need extra. I don't know how many I need because I haven't made this style card before. So I've die cut this, I've reinforced the score lines and I've added some red tape. So I'm just burnishing the red tape as well as the teeth like so and the bottom tab then open it all back out and you want to add a curve into the cardstock to help it curve around the base so i'm just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of my pieces and i'll come back to you so i'm just going to remove the backing of the red liner tape And as you're placing this, you want to be mindful of where the joins are. Now, I'm not too sure how many pieces I'm going to need for this. Um, if you were just using the circle as it's intended, I would tend to have the joints on the side. Um, so I am going to start from the side here. Just place that first one down on the edge there. And then I'm just going to work my way along the curve. Following the edge. So you sort of get a knack for this as you go on and the more that you do. So I'm holding this piece of cardstock in between my finger and thumb so I've got control over this and then I'm holding this here between my finger and thumb and pressing down with this finger then to get the attachment. So just be patient and work your way along. So I'm 
reaching the edge here of this one so I'm just going to go on the inside and burnish those edges so we've got a good attachment and I'm going to attach my next piece so you want to use this tab here to attach to your next piece there so I think I can get away with three pieces we'll see how we go now so I'm going to use quick grab glue for this tab add it all along there so I've just removed the red liner tape and fold those edges over To get that tab attached first of all so once that tab is in place then you just work your way around the rest of the shape so I'm going to pop you on high speed while I do that now and then I'll come back to you once all the edges are attached so there's everything now attached so apologies if I was slightly off camera there I think I was just concentrating too much um, but you've seen me construct this before in past videos so I don't think you're missing much so I'm just gonna work my way along now removing the red liner backing tape so I have made some cuts into the tape just to give it a bit more flexibility especially around these edges here where the shape is changing so had I realized that before construction then I would have added some in when I was adding the panels around the side that would have given more flexibility but I didn't think at the time so I've removed all the backing tape and I'm now going to attach the front so there's everything now attached um, it was quite fiddly to be honest with you um, and I'm a little bit off here on the bottom but once the stand is on and I've got this here as well most of this will be covered up so I'm not too worried about it and I think I think my dad's gonna love it anyway so I'm gonna set this to one side and work on the stand so I've got one piece here when you um, die cut the whole panel there are two arrows to indicate where to trim it and that then is the correct size for your stand so it's very simple um same construction as i did with the main guitar you just want to fold and burnish your score lines follow the um, circular edge Then I've got this piece here, so I folded and burnished on the score lines. I'm going to attach to here. I'm not going to seal it up yet because I want to see how this stands. So I might need to add some weights in the bottom here to um, make sure that it stays upright. And just tuck that bit inside until I know what's happening with that and then I'm going to attach this on the top there so a generous amount of hot glue to make sure that fits in place so I've tested it and it stands up perfectly fine so I'm just going to go in with my hot glue gun now just run a bit of glue around the edge here and add 
complete base. So there's my number 60 ready to attach. So I used the dies to cut the gold and the black and then for the white I, I drew a faint line around the outside of the largest die and I fussy cut that then to give an extra shadow to help that pop against the card there. So I'm going to pop this up onto some foam and then attach it just there like so. So there's a number 60 attached. I'm just going to pop this on its side now just to show you what I'm doing here for further decoration. So I've got this silver string here. I think this was from a paper craft society box. And I'm going to run a piece from this black piece here. Oh, it's got a mind of its own. Just up to the top here. So I'm going to do four strings and my plan is I've got these two extra pieces that will sit over the top here so then this will hide any of the glue that's been added to hold these in place. So there's everything now attached. I do want to add a few um, extra bits, um, but I'm waiting for ink for my printer. So I'm going to print a sentiment, to say happy birthday dad, or something along those lines. Um, I think I'm also going to use it then to cut some music notes and I'm going to just add them to some of the areas where the finish isn't that great and that will um, tidy that up but also just add a bit of extra interest to the card so once i've added everything to this i will post a picture on uh, my facebook and instagram um, you can find me under gemily crafts if you don't already follow me there so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have you might want to hit the like button leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. I hope this inspires you to use your dies differently for their intended purpose. Um, I've really enjoyed making this card and I can't wait to see the final result. Any products used will be listed in the description box below. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!